the bougie show, the bougie show. Tell them it's the bougie show, the bougie show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn up, turn up. We're going live in five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Welcome to the Bougie Show. I am Zay the DJ. Sorry for the delay. This lady in front of me is a Cuban hottie representing <laughs> Miami. She's only four foot nine, but been on her grind. She's new to the adult industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Latina lovers, Violet Gems is in the building. <laughs> Yo, it's good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you for getting here. I know we behind schedule like a mug, but we got it done. I appreciate oh, you joining bro. us. Thanks for waiting for it's me. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. We got Violet Gems in the building. All right, let's get right into it. You were born in Cuba, yes? No, I was born in Miami. Born in Miami. Okay. Were you born in Cuba, I should have said. Did you ever think, okay, so the whole time you were in Miami, getting into this, you know, coming up in Miami, let's get to the, how did you end up doing adult films? How did that happen? Okay. It's like low-key a long story. Okay. It's funny, though. All right. So, like, I went to, you know, Peter Green. Uh huh. Shout out I, to Peter Green. I was, Green. Right. like, close friends with his cousin. Okay. Like, in high school. All right. And people would be like, oh, his cousin does porn. Like, his cousin does porn. Like, teasing him. All right. But, like, you know, like, I wasn't going to be like, oh, who's your cousin? Like, let me check him out, you right, know? Right, right. So, whatever. Fast forward, I was working at Hooters next to his gym. And he he drives a Nismo. That's, like, one of my dream cars. Right. The, the sport, like, Nissan. Got you. And I'm talking to my friends about that same car, and I see it drive by, and I'm like, oh, look, like, this is the car I'm talking about. Uh He had his windows down, and then, like, I see him, and, like, I'd be watching, like, porn on Twitter. So, like, (laughs) I have been, I have been seen, like, Peter Green, like, you know, like, I've known his, like, I've seen his dick before, you know? (laughs) So, I see him drive by, and I'm, I'm staring at him, bro, I'm staring at him, and I'm like, dude, where do I know this guy, bro? Like, I'm just staring at him like this, and I'm like, Oh my god! Like it hits me, and I and I start like freaking out, and I'm like, "Yo, rev your car! Like I've seen your porn before! Like little like crazy whatever." And he just like he doesn't even hear me because his car is so loud. Right. So he just like looks over and he gives me like a like stank ass face, and he like skirts off, and I'm like, "Oh my god! Like maybe he thought I was like telling him to like leave because people were like outside, and he's like mad at me or something." Uh-huh. I was like, uh-huh. "Fuck." So I'm like, he's probably not gonna answer, but like I'm gonna DM him and be like, "Yo, I don't know if you saw me, but like." I like your car like i'm working out hooters like i saw your car like i fuck with it and he's like oh that's you like he had seen my instagram before uh-huh. whatever and then we started chopping it up and then he took me actually to an after party from exotica last year and like there i met like a lot of talents a lot of like producers and like directors and stuff and everyone was like you're really pretty like you've never thought about porn like saucing Uh-oh. me up and right, i'm like right, right. and i'm i, I I'm, I'm not gonna lie like i was a little lit so i was like okay shit like maybe one video won't hurt <laughs> and i kept saying like another video is fine whatever and now i'm here on a podcast <laughs> talking about porn <laughs> so so uh, you chopped it up with him through the dm mm. and he said let me invite you to exotica no to an after party okay an after party yeah and you were like you wanted to just go hang out yeah i was like fuck it like you went by yourself with just you and him i literally went by my like after hooters like after my shift i went with him and like it was so funny like i don't know like i look glam like at hooters like i used to do my makeup super cute or whatever but like i still look like a little like girl because i'm just little so i just remember walking and being like oh i'm a baby like this is crazy like Uh you know it's like titties everywhere I'm right, like, right, what? Right. like i don't even know what to do <laughs> this is the after party yes yeah, so it was like it was chill though i love so it. why were they naked for fun oh okay okay <laughs> and you just walk, never been around that environment no bro i'm a baby like i was literally a baby <sighs> <laughs> all right so after you do exotica they start asking you about doing film so you did one i did the bang bus okay you did the bus yeah that's what you did that with peter too yeah i did okay how was that it was it was good cause there's no was ac like, on there i found no, out there's not and it's so rough we low-key actually tried to make like a gofundme for like a little like ac and it got taken <laughs> down it got taken down by gofundme 
Okay. The disrespect, bro. <laughs> so you're on the Bane bus, right? You come on there. You don't know what to expect. This is your first scene. How did you feel? What was your thoughts when you finished getting off that bus? Bro, no cab. I was just so excited because, like, I made a check, like, you know. So I got my check, like, I cashed it out. And I remember, like, I did, like, the Kodak, like, money spread. <laughs> Stop the fuck. It is time to start the fuck. <laughs> Literally. is dissatisfied. Go ahead. <laughs> like, the first thing, Peter was like, you could, like, deposit on your account. I'm like, no, I want to go to the bank. Like, I want to get this in cash so I can take the picture. But it was good. Like, I was off, like, I was writing, like, a high after. Like, like I, I really did that. Like, I really put myself out there. How did you feel? There. Like your body just doing that type of sex because that's a different type of sex than what you've been accustomed to, right? Yeah, I mean, for a minute, like before that, like two weeks before that, me and Peter had been like, like fucking Loki. Like oh, so he was breaking fans. you in from before. Yeah, okay. I was making right, like so. content on his OnlyFans uh-huh. and like, like I guess like you know like he knew my limits already, so it was it was really good. Like I love that scene. I think that scene is super funny and like cute. I haven't watched it. Um so that was your only time on the bane bus yeah and how long have you been in the industry now since last september mm. i made a year this so month. one year um so you've worked with a few people now yeah okay all right all right um all right so i know your mindset you you, you explained that as you were approaching the set what did your friends and family have to say about your decision to do adult films bro to be honest they thought it was funny like okay. my mom thought that, that it was funny <laughs> Because, like, me and my siblings, like, we did, like, the whole nine yards. Like, we went to school. We graduated. We went to college. You know, I'm still in school, you know. And I don't know. Like, either we we end up doing, like, OnlyFans. Like, I have a cousin that does OnlyFans. And, like, my other cousin, like, went into stripping, like, after she got, like, her master's in, like, business. So, it's like. She went into stripping after getting her master's. After getting her master's. Wow. Yeah. Why? Wow, she wanted quick money? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. So everybody thought it was funny. So yeah. what about what about a year later? What do they think? Um, I don't know. I'm really big on my family, so like I take care of them too. So mm. they they respect that, you know. Yeah. So I, you know, like I try to do like everything I can, like with like what I make from porn to like you know give back. Um, <sighs> Violet Jim joining us on the Boozy Show. Um. Do you and other performers hang out? Like, um, do y'all speak on the future, or do you just focus on what's right now? Um, in like my career, like yeah, career yeah, wise, yeah, yeah. yeah, I definitely like have to like keep an outlook for the future. You know, like I I don't always want to stay like stagnant. Like every day, I want to do a little more than yesterday. So I'm always thinking about what I'm doing the next day. What did what did um what advice have you gotten from your peers in the industry? Like for instance, you you spend time around Kira Perez, right? Yeah. What 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 advice did she have for you, or did you ask her for advice? I should say. Um, this is an industry that like if you're here, you're here to go all out. If you're not going all out, like you're not really gonna go anywhere with it. And this uh-huh. is such a fruitful industry. I uh-huh. feel like you can make so much of yourself here. So it's just like. Fuck it, like, go ahead in, you know? If you don't mind saying it, you don't have to say You can say pass. You said you got your first check. Do you want to say how much that check was? You don't have to. You don't. I promise you, I won't feel no kind of way. I just have to say that because they'll leave comments and how much was it? You know what I mean? They'll ask. So I'm just throwing it out there. If you want to say pass, we pass. All right, cool. I got you. You already gave me the look, so I know you don't want to say it because you would have said it already. All right, cool. Um, Have you encountered your first big... Well, I guess in adult entertainment, they're, they're rally big. Have you come across your first BBC? Yeah. Who was that? Bro. <laughs> Jonathan Jordan. Oh, Jesus. Shout out to Jonathan. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> He's the homie. He's been on the show. I love him, bro. How did, and you know what's so funny? That was Kira's uh, we, first. We had this talk. We, we talked about <laughs> Tell this. Tell me about the conversation, please. Um, What's it called? We just like... My scene with Jonathan was just like funny. Like I don't know why. Like you knew would, what you were dealing with before look, you got there. Yeah, of okay, course. Right. But like he would look at me, I would look at him. We would just start laughing. Like I don't know. Like the vibe that they was so funny. And then afterwards, we, we were talking about like the scene, whatever. And um, Johnny Love was um the scene after okay. us, like in the house. So he came in and he was like, "Oh, this is your first um like 
BBC scene and I was like yeah like whatever like we were talking about it and Jonathan was like oh I was curious too and I was like bro no fucking way like that's so funny I literally texted I was like do we have to shoot with him and now we're gonna shoot content the three of us did Peter give you advice on how to handle that or how to go about it was it Kira who gave you the advice like cause I'm sure it was intimidating right why the size of his penis no you weren't intimidated oh so you're a size queen yeah. Oh, okay, you are a size queen. So he had no you you had no problem taking the whole thing. No. I've had experience. Oh, so like you, my personal life. Oh, your personal life you came yeah. across some big things. Yeah. Okay. Were you you weren't running at any time while you were doing the scene with him? He nah. I mean I would I would occasionally hit him with like a little tap, double, double tap. tap. Yeah, yeah. we'll be very familiar with the double tap. All right. You know, a little some, but it, And it was which position good. was that? Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like You were do- <laughs> Yeah, no, but it was a good scene. It was fun. And so, have you worked with other big guys after that? Yeah. Mm. So after that, it was it was all good. Yeah, totally. Okay. Anybody out there you want to work with that you've been eyeing? Like, I, I want to ch- I want to see if I can do that. Mm. Oh, you didn't even think about that. Okay, all right. No, I don't <laughs> even know. Like, I just feel like I don't know. I don't, like I you know you want to know something like now that I do porn like. I don't, I don't like go out and like watch porn and be like, all right, like, right, let me see what's going on. Like, I don't know. Like, I like knowing like, hey, tomorrow you're going to work with this guy. And I'm like, okay, well, let me see this guy. Oh, shit. Like, he's bad. Like, fuck it. Like, I haven't really like seen anyone that I'm like, I didn't like working with them. Mm, mm. So I don't really like worry about like, you know. Were you, you, were you consider yourself to be a freak before doing adult films? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bonafide freak in the building. We got a bonafide freak in the building. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about the the, uh, the the rough ride on the Bang, Bo, Bang Bros bus. Did you sign on that also? or do, How does that signature work? Like when you sign off, is it okay if you do a scene, you're allowed to sign or you have Like to, on the thing? Yeah. It's for the girls, I think, because I think the guys can just sign it. Right. Pretty sure. But for the girls, I think what they told me was that they had to do the reverse, where they invite them back on the bus oh. and then they grab they- like a guy. So I think that's, oh. yeah. Okay. Okay. I really want to do that though. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot though. You don't want to wait till like the winter when it's a little cooler because they can crack the windows then, right? Yeah, they it's have Miami. Win- like, how much cold is it gonna get? <laughs> I mean, you might get a sixty degree weather day. Do do they crack the windows though? No. Oh shit! So you just in there getting hot? No, I'm fighting demons in that bus. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Um, you ever had a talent be too rough with you during a performance? Mm, yeah. I mean, like, I guess. And what makes it too rough? Um, probably like when they're like building it up, they're just like riding that high. But like I like I don't know, I like it. You like rough? <laughs> yeah. Like to be choked and all that shit. All that shit. Okay. <laughs> 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 What's too rough? Choking you to your your face turns blue. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, tell me about a location where you were sexually active and you never imagined that would happen. For porn or not yeah, porn? Off, off the clock. Oof. Um. Like, I was interviewing Gio Ma. She had sex at a wedding. <laughs> I was going to say the beach, but like. The beach? Okay. Well, that's normal. Normal people do that. That's not a crazy spot. On the sand normal and shit? Normal people? Or like at a bathroom. Normal people, yeah, normal people have sex No, I'm them. talking about like the sand. Like we were outside and it wasn't even night. It was like, daytime? It was daytime. Butt ass naked? Butt ass naked. Wow. Miami Beach? Fort Lauderdale Beach? Hollywood Beach? I'm not, I'm, I won't answer. <laughs> Are you still in communication <laughs> with the person you were butt ass naked on the sand with? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me not, right, bro. Plead the fifth. <laughs> Pass. Okay. Um, so you did tell Kara, you, Kira Perez you were coming to do an interview, right? Yeah. And what, what did she say to you? She was like, fuck it up. Because I was just more like, oh, like, what if I, what if I, like, don't have anything, like, interesting to say? She was like, bitch, like, you're crazy. Like, you're naturally crazy. Like, everything yeah. you're going to say is going to be funny. Right, right. So, like, you know, period. Okay. Have me up. <laughs> Craziest shit you've seen in the industry? Hmm. I guess, like... Damn, but like I don't know if I could like talk about like what I be seeing at parties. Mm-hmm. 
Just, just I mean, you parties. can talk about it. Well, you see, drugs. I mean, we know the routines: drugs, alcohol, orgies. What? I mean, what? What? What could you possibly tell me? Unless you tell me somebody was shooting up heroin. No, bro. Okay, chill, chill, chill. okay so say no. It's just, it's just, it's just like before. funny, like, like being able to like be at a party and like I will like accidentally go into the wrong room, thinking it's the bathroom, and I'm like walking in and like seven heads like going at it, <laughs> and it's like mad casual, like oh, like can you just like close the door and you're done, or like join or some shit, and, I'm and just they're talking there, like, to you while they're. Yeah, and it's just like business as usual, you know, like whatever. And I'm just there like, right. And what are you wearing when you're on the set? <laughs> on set? Yeah. No, not on set. Like when you're at that party. Are you wearing regular clothes? How does it, are you walking no, around in a bikini? No, look, I'm looking like slow. Like I'm looking okay. like. Okay, so you're, you you want to get down too then? I'm always about. Okay, so how do you, when you go to an industry party, how does it, the, how does the sex take place? I don't know. It just depends like, like either like I... I walk into like some people or, like normally it'll be like a couple bro like if I'm talking to a couple like I love me a threesome like I just think that's like it's fun like there's always something to do you know you so, have like, done threesomes yeah of course like I don't know like I'll just walk up like like chop it up with a couple and we end up in the bedroom cuddling mm. does know? the girl does the woman usually approach you right I'd be approaching them no oh yeah so you're aggressive not aggressive. I'm just. But you just. I'm just friendly. <laughs> what do you say to him when you walk up on a couple? Like what you're on? I don't know. What tip you're on? <laughs> what y'all trying to do? And what are they doing when you walk up on them? They just there chilling. Yeah, it's vibing. Uh, uh. How many industry parties have you been to since you've been in the industry? Not many. Not many. I had like four. Is it usually thrown by the companies? Or no talents. Normally, it'll be like like somebody's birthday that we'll go really hard for. Like Halloween, we'll be like at like another talent's house or something. Any talents out there you won't work with just based on how they perform that you've seen? Like, eh, ain't my cup of tea. Um, no. I mean, like the only thing that wouldn't be like my cup of tea would be like anal, just because I've never. You ain't messing with anal. Have you I've done it in your never, personal life? Yeah, I've, I've, I've just never, like, it's not something, like, get me, I'm like, right, right, my right. attention, you know? Have you tried it? No. Oh, okay. okay. I feel like that would be, like, I don't know. I don't know how that would feel. I don't know. Like. <laughs> Why did your last Twitter get deleted? I don't know. That was, like, mad rude, though, because I, like, just hit, like, 5K, and I was, like, doing good. What I think it was is, like, that was, like, my Twitter from, like, senior year like high school like i probably still had like some birds on it from like high school and they were like <laughs> birds yeah like, like some literally birds. birds that fly in the sky birds no like birds like you know like just people that like hang around just because like they want oh, to like bird ass people yeah okay, like gotcha, bird ass gotcha, people gotcha, you gotcha. know and like they probably like reported my shit and whatever oh people that can't understand the trend okay i got yeah. the transition that you've made um have you lost a lot of friends from doing adult I didn't really like had that many friends to begin many. with, to be honest. So, I mean, fuck people. Do you hang more around? You, you spend more of your most of your time around your peers in the industry. You have more industry friends than you do regular friends. No, uh, to be honest, because like industry friends, like closest would be like Peter, but mm -hmm. I hang out with Peter like a lot, you know. And he 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 just had his first child, right? He did. Yeah, yeah. So cute, bro. Yeah. And you met his his, his significant other. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so y'all I, I, I like I love talking to her. That was so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's great. What about J Mac? You been around J Mac? Of course. Yeah, you worked with him. Yeah. How was that? He's funny. Yeah. Like he's like old school high Like I, he's he's funny. Like every time he talks, like he's funny, bro. Who do, who do you want to work with that you haven't got the opportunity? Bro, Valerica. Valerica still. Yes. Shout out to the homie. I fuck with Valerica. We'll drop a horn in the bar for That's the homie, homie, homie. Her and Grimey. Shout out to both of them. Literally, bro. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, they, they 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 cool peoples. Yeah, yeah. Valerica. Valerica, yeah, she's dope. Oh, so you want to work with her? She's a beast. She's so bad. <laughs> she's a beast. And I don't watch her porn. That's just from what I see on Twitter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, she's a beast. She cool peoples, though. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, she's cool, a cool literal people. angel, dude. Well, you could <laughs> some people be like, "What you mean, Angel?" <laughs> then you see how she get down. But yeah, she's a trooper. <laughs> Anybody found their way on your no checklist? Um, no, no, not really. Have you been to Cali? 
No, and I really wanted to go, but I just things got complicated with that trip. But you gonna, you gonna go by yourself? Um, I mean, right now, like my work in Miami is looking pretty good. Like I have a decent amount of bookings, but if I ever get to a point where it slows down, like I'm not scared to go by myself. Like if I have to, you know, I don't mind. Has Kira been? I don't. I've never seen her in Cali either. I don't know. Y'all should go together. Just see so you have somebody. Oh my to ride god, with. that would we'll be so fun. I wonder why she hasn't gone yet, because she's got a real high popular, you know what I mean? Yeah. Surprised she hasn't gone. They haven't called you out to go out there yet? They did, and I spoke to an agent about it, but then I never got, like, a follow back on it, so it's sick. Like, okay. You ever stayed in a model house? No, but mm. I've shot at one while there were models in the house. How was that? Interesting. Why? Because at the time, they were beefing. So. Who was beefing? The, the the performers? Yeah. Oh God, I'm sure you've seen a lot of drama. Yeah, in your I have. one year. It's like how do you what do you do to stay away from it? I don't know. I I I like keep to myself. You know, like I I really like to keep my personal life like me like outside of porn and like mm. Violet like who I am as Violet like really separate. Cause then I like it's not like that I'm not friendly or whatever, but it's more like. I just feel like if I keep to myself, like, I don't really have to stress about, like, anybody else. And, like, right now, like, you know, I'm too new, you know. I don't really want to, like, yeah. deal with that. I feel you. I feel you. Violet Jim joining us on the Boozy Show. Um, do, do you date? Um, I mean, I definitely talk to people, but, like, I don't know. I, I really like being Do you single. tell them that you're a performer when you start talking to them? Yes. And what what's usually their reaction? That is hot Or most of the time They like already know Are they older men? Yeah it's, I talk to a lot of girls though Oh you mess with girls too? Yeah how do, you, how do you meet them? Like Instagram So motherfuckers just be in a DM? People just be in a DM? Yeah And what makes you respond to them? I don't know Sometimes I'll be like smoking And like I'm like Let me go through my DMs And I'll be like Oh she's bad Hold up Let me see if she's So you don't, you don't You don't entertain the guys? No, not really. Like I got enough dick, like for work, you know. Like <laughs> I don't really, I don't really have that like necessary like need. Are you the aggressor when you're dealing with other f- women? Sometimes, but sometimes like I like being put in my place, you know. Like all right, then you put straps on and all that. Should I might? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't done that yet. You haven't hit another girl from the back with a dildo. No. Oh, okay. I've taken it. You taking it from another woman? Yeah. Is it? What's the difference between them and a the man besides a real penis? I don't know. I just <laughs> like it doesn't. It doesn't like as like a dildo. Like I don't know. Like I don't really feel like a difference because like dick that you fuck like like men like it's always gonna be different. So it's just it just feels like another different dick. But like I don't know. I just like I just like women. So it's just like comfortable. It's like a comfortable fuck. You know. Like my chilling. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. So when's the last time you, you when's the last time you had a boyfriend? Bro, like three years ago. Mm. Maybe more. I don't even remember. When's the last time you've been on a date? I mean Peter takes me out on dates. Well, that's different. <laughs> y'all y'all How's do business that together. Because y'all do business together. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I've never like I haven't had somebody be like, Would you like to go out on a date with me in like a minute? What about vagina maintenance? How do you um, keep your vagina up to par? I take a lot of vitamins. Mm. That's number one. I like, I take, oh my God, I literally have a list. Hold up. I got you. <laughs> I'm about to put you on. Put me on. I don't got a vagina. I don't even put me on that. <laughs> Unless I'm passing on to somebody else. All right. What is that? My list of vitamins that vitamins. I take. Vitamins. Wow. That's a um, lot. Um, I also, you know, like shower, like touch day, whatever. Um, shower before set, douche before you're seen. When you worked with, um, Jonathan Jordan or J Mac, what? How do you usually feel after that? Like my pussy or yeah, me? your vagina. <laughs> Girl, she be getting puffy. Yeah, she will swell up a little. Jesus. And and what do you do? Take the next day off? You don't do back to back days, do you? No, I can't. I'll break. Mm. I'll literally break. Mm. And what do you do? You lay in Epsom salt and all that good shit. Yeah, I take a little two two Tylenol, max strength. <laughs> Go to sleep, you know, sleep it off. Wow. Yeah. Do you get advice from other performers on how to maintain your vagina? Yeah, you- somebody, literally, somebody recommended me to do Tylenol over ibuprofen. 
and I, I it does swell like reduce the swelling faster. So. Mm. 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 Wow. So you wanted to work with Val Erica. Um, if you could pick the brain of one individual, when I say pick the brain, I mean sit down and have a constructive conversation. Who would that be? Like it doesn't have to be somebody in the industry, anybody existed? in the walk of life. Yeah. Sigmund Freud. Who? Sigmund Freud. I don't know who that is. He's a psychologist. Like, okay. Like old time. Okay. Yeah, I be reading his books. What do you? What, oh, you read? Yeah. You read all the time? Is that your hobby? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's I, why you I can't just judge like to like. I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes, like I'll be lit and like I'll get stuck on my words, and I'm like, oh no, like I'm getting dumb. And then like I'll pick up like a new book, like try to refresh. But like, I didn't read. He's just like going to like another world, basically. You been to jail before? Julie. <laughs> This is a like random jump. That was a fat random jump. <laughs> like what? it just came in my head as I'm talking to you. Like, okay, you were bad. Yeah, I was. Yeah, little small ones, man. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the small ones. You know, like I just had to stand up for myself. Oh, it's that type of deal. Okay, I get you. I get you. What What do you want at the end of the day? What do you want to accomplish as an adult performer? I want to be able to have like my own name, like my own business, like. I want to be able to like, like not stop at porn. Like I want to keep going, see where I, where I can go. What else do you want to do? What did you see? What do you? What? Did, what was always your dream in life? This is like kind of like random, but I, I like, uh, like aside from being a business owner, uh-huh. like I, I want to own a club. Like I want to own like my own cl- like strip club, and I feel like it's because like I was around like like my siblings and stuff that are like in the industry, uh-huh. like in the dancing industry. And I just feel, see like their conditions, and I'm like, I just feel like I could do it better. Like you know, like I want to have like a nice space where like I can have like my girls be like hot as fuck and make mm. money safely. You know. Mm. 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 All right. Um. So what we do is every time we have an event, we uh send out to our viewers, hey, any questions you have for adult performers. So what we do is send out. I have a few questions here. I'm random questions, so we'll go through some of them now. Um, first I'll go into this Because th- for whatever reason This is a big deal Ask them uh, James Clark says Ask them about Cut and uncut cock If they have a preference And why they like Or dislike it Uncut Uncircumcised Yeah I think so it, you looks like uncut. Uncut. it looks nicer It looks nicer But I've yeah. heard that un- uh, Wait wait hold on You says uncut looks nicer Yeah like So the with skin the over on. the head Okay yeah. with the hoodie That looks nicer I heard it also feels better Yeah I can see that I mean I feel like Normally, like uncut dick be thicker, and I okay. I, I, I be into girth. Like oh, you I like girth more than length? Yeah, low key, okay. low key, okay. yeah. Low key, you said? Low key. Okay, low 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 key. Low key. I don't know. Am I saying low key? Wait, wait, low key. You're telling me on on the low? Is, on the low. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you say low key, I just making sure you. I got to keep up with low you, youngsters. Key? I don't know. All right, all right. <laughs> so you prefer uncut? All right, we'll throw another one at you. Um, I'm not gonna ask you this one because you've only been in the industry for one year, so you probably won't have full detail. Um, what's the best part? Uh, uh, Last Dragon thirty three eleven says, "What's the best part about being an adult performer, and what's the worst part?" The best part is like you always have something interesting to say when people are like, "So, what do you do for work?" Because mm. I'm like, y'all don't even know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part. Like, I fuck baddies, you know. Like, okay. being able to be like, yeah, like this is this is what my career is, okay. you know, like. But um, I guess the worst part would be, like, honestly, like, when people, like, see me, like, outside of work or, like, like you know, like, in a natural environment, they're, like, like they start pointing uh-oh, and, like, uh-oh. looking and stuff. Like, at the gym the other day, like, I was, I, always, I never go to the gym by myself, like, because of that. So I was Already. out, right. yeah, I was out with my friends and then, like, somebody clapped up, like, my homeboy and was, like, yo, like, can you come over here and, like, talk? And then he pulled them aside and be like, oh, how do you know Violet? Da, 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 whatever. And then, like, I'm just standing there like, can I deadlift? Like, can I do my workout? Mm-hmm. But it's all right. Like, it, it, like it, it, it comes with the job, you know, so. And, wh- and what's the, the dislike? What's the part, the, the bad part about it? The worst part is what he said. That like oh you, just it's being, just like I'm not always ready to like the attention yeah I'm not always ready to re- receive that attention so I'm just like Got what it. like what's going on 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to throw one more at you from um, Last Dragon 3311. Do you spit or swallow? Swallow. Okay. I don't think I've ever spit. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um. All right, we're going to start Moment of Truth. Moment of Truth is when I state things. And if it's true, you say true. If it's false, you say false. It's, damn, bug out of here. Um, if you choose not to answer, you say pass. Okay. All right. You don't like your booty licked. I do. You do. Okay, so that's false. Yeah. You've regretted having sex with someone before. True. Mm. What made you regret it? Um, it was like a friend, so it was like. Oh, like this bad fuck of the friendship, and then it so did. So you fucked up the friendship. So I did, yeah. So, uh, all right. <laughs> You've had somebody try to take that P U S S Y. Had somebody try what? Take the take the take 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 it. In what way? Take like it? take it like oh, let me just put the head in and you know that type of thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you tell him that after, man? You took this. Yeah, like, you're my son, <laughs> bro. Uh, you couldn't be with a man that doesn't lick vagina. True. Mm. They got to lick the booty, too? Let's say. The, the booty and the vagina? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. From the back. From the back. Okay. If a man wants you to peg his butthole, he has sugar in his tank. Yeah, bro. Okay. Yeah, too. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, certain women that come from different walks of life, they don't find nothing wrong with it. They be like, oh, no, it's normal. And, then, you know. No, I, I, like, there's nothing wrong with having, like, a little sugar in your tank, but it's just, like, you're, you're a little fluid. Like, you're not really, like, mm. you know? Mm hmm. I've noticed that most of the women that says, uh, aren't the minorities in society So the, most of the women that say that Oh it's fine it's just normal There's nothing crazy about it That says oh they don't have sugar in their tank Aren't um, major, uh, They're just I got you The, the ones that come yeah. more from the urban world the more yeah. they, they, they answer mm -hmm. to say Yeah you got some fruit in your tank You want something put in your butt Because most of the men you come across I'm pretty sure they want you to put nothing in their booty right Yeah okay. like All right. um, If you could turn back the hands of time And I know it's only been one year would you have done Would you have waited To do certain type of scenes No Okay so I every scene you've think, done You would still do it again Yeah okay. I actually think Like Like I said When I started I just started like Taking it one video at a time I wasn't really like Going all in at first Um And like I was actually thinking about it During my My scene with Jonathan Jordan That like I could have done like a lot Off the rip Like I could have just like Kept going But mm -hmm. like that's just not the speed I was ready for, mm. you know. So, mm. but I think I think the pace I'm at right now, like, is good. Okay. I'm I'm good here. Like, your your mind goes blank when it's time for a cum shot to the face. What are you thinking about when it comes shot? When it's time for the money shot? I hope it don't get in my eye. <laughs> that motherfucker bird, huh? Oh, so <laughs> bad. Because so so you got to keep your eyes open, right? Yes. Who was it? Was that your first time getting come to the eyes doing uh, adult films? Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. You were used to getting skeeted on the stomach and the butthole, not on the yeah, booty, not, not, on, not, not in the face. Like on some, no, bro. And it was so bad. Like, so do you tell? Does the performers try to like kind of not shoot directly in your eye, or they don't give a damn? They just let go. No, obviously. Well, fuck. I hope they're trying yeah, to yeah. like not get it in there, but you know, like casualties happen. You know, <laughs> casualty is a guy. <laughs> Um, you were you are scared to perform with a certain performer because of the way he uses his penis. No, no. Okay, you've gotten burned as a performer. So all the interviews we've done today, they all announced to me that they've had chlamydia. It's not my first time hearing that. Have you had that yet? No. Okay. All right. Well, they say it's not bad. You don't feel anything. You just have no, to take medication. No. I when I was seventeen, I worked at a pharmacy. No, I worked at a clinic, oh. like from my family. So, so I see I've seen shit. a lot of shit like that. Like it's no stigma about that here. Like yeah. it's it's like you know like it is like a risk you take at job at your work. You know like at our work. Yeah. But um, yeah, 
I'm, I guess I'm lucky. I've also never had COVID. I don't hmm. know how. How you know that? Some people have it, don't even know. I don't know. But I guess maybe I have. But <laughs> I've never tested positive. For how many COVID. piercings you got? So you got one on each nostril and then the one. The one, one, two, three. Oh, you pierced everywhere? When you say four. one, one is down there? No, my belly oh, button. Oh, okay. I got you, got you. My you want to pierce that too? If porn lets me, because uh, I was actually on the road to getting more, but porn was like, let's calm down, because uh, we want we want you to look like, you know, like, cute, like, innocent mm-hmm. girl vibes, you know, but, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> seven? I might be counting it wrong, I don't mm. know, something like that. Mm. Can you let the audience know your new Twitter, your new Instagram, everything? What if you got new scenes coming out, all that good shit? Yes, actually, if you go straight to my Instagram, which is B Violet Gems with another S at the end, two B's, two S's. Um, I have a Beacons link with all my links on there: my Twitter, my OnlyFans, my Cash App. <laughs> cash app. Like cash Make sure you plug app. that. Are you? Are, you, are your only fans? Tell me what they requesting from you these days. You know what? They've been requesting like really light stuff, like like some solos, like a lot of like solos. Honestly, like me, like fingering myself, or like twerking on camera, mm, or like I write that. my name on my butt, and or like I write their name on my butt, and like I twerk or do a little strip tease. Um. Every once in a while, I have somebody ask for a boy girl, but most of the time, my fans like customs are always like solo based. They ask you for humiliations and all that type of shit too. No. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anything you want to let them know about you before we go that they don't know? Um, that I'm not four nine. I'm four ten. Oh, you four ten? <laughs> Give me that inch, bro. Stop the fuck, fuck please. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say it, but I let it slide because I mean, it rhymes. I got. Yeah, you I said do that. You right, you right, you right. Grind, <laughs> that's bro, that was hard. <laughs> four ten with sneakers on, not barefooted. So you really like four eight then, probably. Bro, why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Violet Gems, we appreciate you joining us. Um, I know this is your first interview. I'm glad you got. Um, you lost your. My you gave it up to us virginity. on your your, your virgin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With us, um, I think they're gonna tune in and, and, and they're gonna start watching your stuff. And um, I thought you did very well. Your Thank first you. Um, I appreciate you getting here, even though you were late. And there's no problem. You still showed up and you showed you still out. Love me. You showed up and you showed out. So I don't have no <laughs> issue. At least you weren't just saying um and yes all day long. So um, <laughs> hey, what any um any new scenes coming that you you don't have to say the name of it, but that's coming that they well, might be my, excited. Well, my my most recent scene was with Jonathan Jordan. That was oh, okay. like like a week ago. That hasn't come out yet. Nope. Mm. That's that's coming out. It's gonna be um, BBC clips like together. If they threw, if they threw, uh, there's another guy down here that works with Hussy. If they threw him at you, another BBC, would you take that? Probably. Okay, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I, is that, I don't know about like agencies and. All like, right, there's know. one other guy, and he's uh, can somebody slap that freaking yeah, bug right? out of here? Oh, the damn door. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, all right. Let me just say BK. Oh <laughs> my god! I'm gonna have to train for that. Like, okay, like I would, but like that's gonna be like Rocky. Like, like I ask that question because they always laugh. Like, why are he always asking the performers about BK? BK. And it's just because the reaction I always get I always think it's hilarious So anyways Violet Gems joining us on the Boozy Show um, I wish you the best in your future endeavors uh, Great Thank interview you. Hopefully we can have another interview a year from now It's going to be great to see how you've polished How far <laughs> your, your career has evolved And things of that nature You ready to go take some pictures and do this drop? Yeah let's go do it Alright Violet <laughs> Gems joining us on the Boozy Show And we are checking out Thank you again Alrighty <laughs> It's the Bougie Show with Zayda DJ. Zayda DJ. Zayda DJ. Zayda DJ. Woo!